What's up, fellas? Lady fellas? This is your boy, Rowdy, coming at you with a Fallout video. Now, today what I'm going to be showing you guys is mods. And yes, PS4 finally has gotten mods. Now, um, yeah, this actually is really awesome because it's already taken off. We have over, we have over 100 mods already going on Bethesda.net. And uh, I want to show you guys a few of them that I found were really awesome, especially to start off with. And uh, I want to give a big shout out to Andrew CX because most of the mods on here are going to be his. He has done some crazy amount of work in a short amount of time and given us a lot to mess around with. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing is going to be the Armor and Weapon Keywords Community Resource. And uh, essentially what this is going to do is it's going to add a bunch of uh, tools for modders to work with to allow us to uh, have access to mods and uh, resources that we wouldn't normally have. So um, this definitely makes it easier on everybody to make, you know, compatibility mods for, you know, changing armor, changing clothes, colors, and stuff like that. And uh, kind of following that trend... Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into Andrew's, uh, his mods that he's made for us. There's actually a lot of them, and what they mainly do is add a lot of customization. So, um, yeah, as you can see, currently I'm rocking a, uh, Institute synth helmet. And, uh, for those of you that have played through the full game, you know that you cannot get this in black. Normally, when you do get this, it's only available in kind of like a pristine white and a, uh, kind of dirty damaged white um essentially what this adds in is your ability to change the color the lining the you know pretty much the whole armor rating of the helmet itself let me show you guys what i mean you can literally change everything so here right here we have the uh the normal attachments that you can have for this armor you know you have your your little perks that you can put on it now you're able to add the ballistic weave to any armor you're able to uh, change the color as well. And also, if you uh, are feeling feeling dangerous, you can go ahead and mess around with the legendary effects as well, which is an awesome choice. So, uh, this being said, you can essentially craft the armor, any armor in the game, to be exactly how you want it to be. This, you know, makes it so that it's crazy amount of customization. Before, you can make all sorts of changes to the game, and now, you know, that's pretty much quadrupled with the amount of stuff that you can do now. And, uh, honestly, this should have been included in the vanilla game. I'm surprised that it wasn't. Being able to, uh, change whether it's light, medium, heavy armor, whether it's, uh, black, whether it's white. You know, different colors, honestly, makes a huge difference. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be that one for the armor mods. If you notice that my Pip-Boy is actually a different color. I have uh, another mod by Andrew CX also that uh, changes the color of the Pip Boy. This is going to add it into your armor inventory, and from here you're able to go in there in the Pip Boy and change the uh, the band color as well as the uh, the full thing. So I changed mine to a black cuff and a uh, a wine red Pip Boy, which I think look, looks really cool. So that's another customization that Andrew gave to us. Um, Another quick mod that I wanted to cover was Wacky Weapons Workshop. And essentially this is going to work exactly like any mod, any weapon. For those of you that are familiar with it. Um, th this is going to allow you to make any changes you want to the guns that you have. Any gun, really. You can remove the legendary effects and put them on others. You can kind of change everything around. Make it how you would like it. This uh, adds so much customization to the game and in my opinion adds a lot of hours to the overall lifetime of the game so uh, yeah definitely really cool to have um, one of the uh, one of the last mods that I kinda wanted to go over with you guys was simple green if you notice around the area you're gonna see lots of green this is grass this is going to add all sorts of things over here it kind of it reinvents the scenery and allows you to do exploration, have a kind of new new scenery. It doesn't make it so drab and dry. Um, oh, actually, I uh, I skipped one. One of the mods that we're also going to cover is unlock all settlement objects. 
oh, sorry, unlocked settlement objects. And essentially this is going to add in every, every like piece of furniture, every customizable material in the game to your uh, workshop. So you're going to be able to add in literally everything. Say if I want to put a tree right here, I'm going to be able to put a tree right here. They have all sorts of, uh, you know, new beds. You got the institute pieces. You know, you got all sorts of stuff from pretty much everywhere in the game. Anything that you could possibly think of that, that's already in the game, at, as, at least. Um, you're able to kind of put in your own settlement. You know, move it around however you want. And that's a level of customization that we kind of should have gotten also from the, you know, vanilla game, which we did not. Thanks to Andrew CX, we definitely got that coming our way now. So for all you settlement builders out there, this is going to be the mod to get. And uh, yeah, honestly, just with all these mods, Andrew CX has done a really great job with all this. So uh, yeah, once again, I want to give another shout out to him. And uh, I mean, if you guys liked any of these mods, I'm going to go ahead and leave links in the description. If you liked the video, go ahead and drop me a like or leave me a comment. Um, but if you have any ideas for some mod reviews you want me to go over, or if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, go ahead and let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Deuces.